on relegation, I mean, I think everybody presumes Southampton's going down. I don't even yeah. see odds pushing for them at this point. They're six points behind with only three games to go. Like, they're they're cooked. Uh, Leeds is minus 300. Leicester is minus 225. Forest is plus 175. Everton is plus 225. Do you think that the heavy minuses are both going down and Forrest and Everton are staying up? That's what I'm getting from your com uh, comments. Yeah, I mean, the Brighton match, uh, like, for Everton completely flipped their odds. I think they were about, like, a 3-5 and five chance of going down before they randomly beat Brighton at the Amex, like... 5-1. The matchups for Everton, they have uh, Bournemouth and Wolves, I think, are their last two matches. Like, they have to get, like, one to four points out of those two after they get trounced by the game we'll talk about, which is City. Um, and that keeps them up. That puts them in. If they got four points, they I think they would finish up 39. Um, Forest, they just have been so lucky this year. I could see Leicester Leeds getting that, that trio going down to the wire. Um, but Everton's win against Brighton, like, I think saved their season, which, I mean, God, they don't deserve it, but I think they're going to stay. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, but to the point, like, that you just made, they're the worst team, they don't deserve it, and they're plus 175 right now with three games to go. I actually think that's the best ticket, and the reason I think that's the best ticket is you can't just look at how many points behind all, you got to look at uh, differential, goal differential. I think it's going to come down to the wire. I think you're right about the fact that it's really good to keep an eye on the goal differential. Um, I, that, I think it might come down to that. I think this is going to be a year where we might, we might be going to the last match day being like, they better score goals if they want to stay up. <laughs> 